Hi everybody, I hope you're all doing well. Um, last weekend I decided to have some gel printing play in my small flip journal and I was going to share it earlier <laughs> and I never did get around to it so I thought I would edit it for you today and post it. I know you guys like the gel printing videos. Well, I guess there's a mixture. There's gel printing, there's collage, and then some like the dilutions. But the gel printing does seem to be the most popular. So I'm starting out in my journal just by brayering some paint in the background. And that was a cadmium yellow. And now I'm going in with some Indian yellow hue. So the reason why I brayer it instead of doing a paintbrush or a makeup sponge or anything like that is I truly feel that you get a different look with the brayer. You get a little bit of texture and it's just different. It's a different look and I'm not going for a complete coverage because it is the very background. It is just getting a little bit of color on that page so it's basically not a blank page. A great way to break the blank page too for those that struggle with um, knowing where to start, like how the blank page seems to like paralyze them, just grab a brayer and some paint and make it messy in the background. So for this layout, I'm going to be using my gel press petites and that was the three inch square with green gold paint. And I think, I think I use all golden paints. I'm not sure if in the end I may grab a different one. So here we have the three inch circle with quinacridone magenta. And I didn't have any set plan for this journal page. I just knew I wanted to play in a journal with my gel plates because I do like the look of, I don't know, just all the mini ones together. And it is such a quick way to finish pages in a journal. So when you just want to play but you don't know what to, don't know what you want to do, this is a great way to just, I don't know, let loose and just play in your journal and not really care with what's happening. <laughs> so I have to see what color this is. I think it's Payne's Gray. Yes. And that is the Chevron gel, um, gel press petite and then we have the triangle so these come in different sets you can't buy them like you can't just buy the triangle um, I'm pretty I was gonna say I'm pretty sure <laughs> the triangle circle and squares in one set but I'm not entirely sure so I will link down below the video the different um, actually I'll just link because gel press website it's not like tons and tons of stuff so I will just link to all their gel plates because it's all different sets and it'll all be there in one one spot so now I am taking that circle gel plate again and I have a stencil that I made myself and I'm just layering it, layering, <laughs> I'm just laying it on the gel plate so I can get the pattern when I put it in my journal. And I really like the look of um, the paint that got on the stencil, I'm putting it down on the paper. I love how distressed it looks and very faded. If I had it back, I would have just done that and not done the circles because I really like the look of it. 
and the paint color I'm using is turquoise. I thought about doing a live today, but <laughs> honestly, I can't even remember exactly how to do it. That's the worst part about it being so long, because um, even the last time I did one, it was like learning how to do it all over again, and it will be the same the next time I do it as well, and I'm just not in the mood to try and figure it all out. I figured by the time that I figured it all out, and I also have to take my son to work, that it would probably be at a time that's not good for everybody. And I wouldn't get anything else done today. So I thought I had this video. I would just post this one for you guys. And hopefully sometime soon I'll get around to learning again how to do a live. So this gel plate here that I'm using now this was a rectangle gel plate and I had more than one so I cut it in half so I could just have that little strip and that stencil is from Picket Fence Studios and I will go find the name of it for you it is called watercolor brush strokes And again, I use the color quinacridone magenta. Now I'm just adding some nickel azo gold to the magenta that's already on my gel plate. I'm just going to make those mix those two together and get whatever color I get. <laughs> As you can see, I'm having trouble deciding what one I want to use next. <laughs> Pretty sure I end up going with the square. Yes. And that is a Crafter's Workshop stencil. It is mini stones divided. That is one of my favorite stencils. I have quite a few favorite stencils, but this one I do use a lot. So you see here, it didn't really matter what gel plate I used because I was just using it basically to stamp the paint through the stencil. I thought that turned out really cool. I like that. I have saved it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but it has been saved. So the idea here that I wanted was to create like... A ring of paint so I grabbed the dilutions large boulders stencil and I'm using also dilutions white linen paint and I thought I would put the paint on the gel plate then put the stencil down okay this is not what I thought I wanted I thought I was creating a ring around the circle hmm Ignore what I said. There we go. That's what I thought I was doing. <laughs> I wanted an outer ring. Let's see if I do it this time. Or maybe I'm getting both, like two in one. So I'm getting my circle and I'm getting my ring. Yep, so I'm going to remove that extra paint. Now I'm left with a ring and I'm going around my previous circles. See, I haven't totally lost it. <laughs> I 
I don't even remember how this page looks in the end. I can't remember if I added a quote or if I just left it as a background. I don't know if you guys are like it. You can comment down below if you have a hard time like leaving a page, like no matter how full it is and how much is going on, it still feels unfinished if you don't add like a focal image, like a stamped image or a quote or something like that. Are you that way? Let me know down below. Okay, this one is a, oh, what is it called? My Favorite Thing stencil. Um, positive signs, I believe. And I'm using, I'm back to golden paints in teal. Oh, and this is a Crafters Workshop Stencil Number Scramble. I just love numbers and circles and like writing and stuff like that. I think I love numbers though more than I do like words and writing stencils. I have no idea what I'm about to do. <laughs> so I have the, no, am I using it? Yep, carbon black in the golden paints. And it looks like I'm just gonna do more circles with the Dilusions Boulder Stencil. Just adding some small circles. Yeah, because we don't have enough going on on this page? No. <laughs> I think this is the only time I go like crazy with a lot of stuff in the background is when I'm doing it this style. Playing with my gel press petites. So I'm just going in with a white Posca paint pen and outlining some of the circles. Again, I have to wait and see what else I do because I really can't remember. I feel like those big numbers will get outlined. I would think in black. Looking at it now, that's what I would do. Whether I did or not, we'll see. And if I didn't do it, I may have to go back and get it and do it. <laughs> so I'm looking at it now and I feel it screams. Oh, see, I did it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Because that was driving me nuts. <laughs> okay. I don't think I added a quote or anything to this page. I get the feeling I probably just left it as a playtime background. I 
that is a Stabilo All Pencil. Just getting a lighter outline of the white circles. And that is it for my playtime in my art journal. So I do hope you enjoyed it, and until next time, bye! Thanks so much for stopping by. Let me know if you like my videos by leaving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can also head over to my Instagram account and say hi to me over there. If you have any video requests, leave a comment down below and I'll see what I can do. And don't forget to check out my other videos.